Flyers TV is sponsored by the Bay Hotel. Oh, get it. You guys are out of here. No way. You guys are... I'm not doing this. How's it going? What are you doing, bro? No way. What do you I'm mean? I'm not doing this. Come on. No way. Come on. There's no way we're doing this. Come on, man. We just got a few simple questions. We're nervous. You're our favorite player. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so... <laughs> get the bleach those covers on. I'll just stuff. Right, oh, man, the the funniest oh, last night the car. Oh either. my god. Don't watch oh, right. Just got a few simple questions for you, Tim. Start I off, might uh, stop this by the way if it happens. We'll uh, keep it pretty simple. Yeah, we get it's good to know you get to know questions, us. just fans want to probably know. Uh nothing. What's personal. your favorite snack? Oh my favorite snack. I mean there's a lot of them. I'd probably say chips, but I can't eat them right now because I gave them up for Lent. So I mean, I'm kind of, kind of itching for some of those right now. All right. Obviously, a, a fun question there. We're going to keep it uh, for the fans, and, um, just a little bit more on the normal side. How do you like living here in Fife? And uh, who did you live with? And um, how did you enjoy living with them? Uh, I really enjoy Fife. Kirkcaldy's very, a very nice place. Um, my roommate is actually sitting right here on my left, and uh, I mean, he's a, he's a good roommate from time to time. He struggles with his dishes, but uh, I mean, so far he's it's been better since better than last year. I'm gonna have to say he's been been a little better. I think he's grown up a bit in a year. Well, was that the only person? I thought we had. Yeah, How'd you like sure. Oh wow! Overtime. You know Sarah's Overtime. back home watching this. We're sorry, Sarah. He left you out, but uh, <laughs> we'll we'll sorry, love you. Sarah. Love you. <laughs> All right, nice She's question. Right now. Uh, what are some of your nicknames and why? Well, I got one. Uh, my middle name is Glendon, and uh, Kyle last year started calling me Glenny, and now Derek kept that going this year, and I've been called Glen Eagles, Glen Rothis. Buddha. Buddha is another one. Buddha is my biggest one. I, uh, I picked that up when I was younger. I was a little overweight, and uh, one of my brother's friends Gave me that nickname and it's stuck. It's stuck to this day. So, would you say that you kind of had to look alike with uh, Chris Farley? <laughs> <laughs> I probably I did have a look alike with Chris it. Farley, and he is actually is or was my favorite actor. My next question for you is a simple one. What do you like to do in your spare time? Do you like to cook? Do you like to clean? Work out? Why don't you let him answer the questions? <laughs> That's true. Uh, spare time, I really like to golf. Number one, but uh, Weird. during the season, I'm a big fan of big fan of my couch time. A lot of movies, some games on my iPad, as Derek knows. And uh, living with Derek, now that Sarah's gone, I have to do quite a bit of cleaning and a lot of dishes. But I'm pretty simple. A lot of movies, a lot of games. Um, what was your best score in golf? I, in a round of golf. My best score this year or ever? Yeah, in your life. Yeah. Once, uh, one round in high school in a match, I shot 69 when I was a sophomore in high school. Any mulligans? No mulligans in competitive golf there. Okay. Looks like you're getting a little bit comfortable. You see the leg is up. He's obviously getting into this and he's okay with it. So we'll get a little, fast forward a little bit. If you had to pick one person on the team to golf with you that would resemble Happy Gilmore, who do you think it would be and why? That would resemble Happy Gilmore. Man, that's a tough question. I did, uh, earlier in the year, we had a team outing, and uh, I actually had a concussion at the time, but the boys were drinking, and Derek was in my group, and he, uh, oh, here we go. he had a few, he had a few, few drinks under the round, and uh, at the end of it, he had an empty bottle of Captain Morgan, and he actually hit a golf ball off the top of it, <laughs> and it actually went about 240 yards right down the middle of the fairway, so I'm gonna have to give it to him. I'll take that. I'll take that. I guess we will never be allowed to be playing at that golf course ever again for those of you watching <laughs> from that golf course. Um, what time do you go to bed at? Ooh, anywhere from 2 to 4 in the morning. Wow. Pull nothing back nice. there. What, uh, what do you do during the summer? Do you have a job in the summer? Or? Yeah, in the summer I, uh, I run hockey camps back home. Uh, I'm good buddies with a guy that runs a rink, and uh, I run camps there maybe three times a week from about 12 to 5. 
Do you enjoy vacuuming? I don't think anybody enjoys vacuuming, but Derek would tell you that I have some, there's, for some reason I do enjoy vacuuming. You wear number 37, any reason why you wear that? Actually, no, uh, I always wore number 10, but uh, last year there was a guy on the team that wore 10, and this year, there, and this year Gunny wears 10, so uh, last year, just last minute, I just decided to go with 37. It kind of felt like a European number. Um, how often do you go to the New York sandwich shop, and what's your favorite thing to get there? I've been a pretty good, re pretty big regular at the New York sandwich shop this year. I'd probably say anywhere from three to five times a week, maybe. And uh, I want to say my favorite would probably have to be. Ooh, tried a lot of stuff there. I'd probably say the turkey, egg, and cheese on a baguette. Is it tough sometimes to get? Across the street? <laughs> no. It's always really easy. Cut that one out. <laughs> okay, this one. Now this, we're getting down. Um, <laughs> this can this come from Derek? Um, well, this I've I've heard from Derek. They can leave a a bathroom light on for a friend. Does he have a name? And why do you leave the light on for him? And who is he? Oh, this is such a dumb question. But uh, we uh. For some reason, when I come out of the bathroom at times, I'll leave the light on and you can see it from our living room. And some, for some reason, Derek said that I must have a buddy living in there and I always leave the light on for him. He doesn't have a name, but from time to time, I'll leave the light on for him, so. Okay. What is uh, your full name, including your middle name? Timothy Glendon Hartung. What's your favorite snack? We already did this. <laughs> it was figured you had more than one. Yeah, I told you there were a lot of them. I don't know. Come on. You had to pick two. Oh, we'll go... Gummy Bears. That's a good pick. Uh, where did you go to college, and did you win any championships? <laughs> I went to Northern Michigan University, and no, I did not win any championships, Derek. Um, who is your favorite athlete, and how would you compare yourself to him? Favorite athlete? Can we make this more specific to a sport or anything? any sport? Uh, Real model. Who would you look up to going up besides? Chris I would Park? probably say my favorite golfer would probably be Jason Duffner, but uh, I don't know. Never. I guess I can compare him to compare myself to him. He's got a little gut. I got a little gut. He's kind of chill on the course. I'm chill on the course, and uh, from time to time he'll throw in some uh, some chews, and I I do that as well. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. Uh, how many nights this week did you order a kebab? Uh, two. Two. Mm. Is that a superstitious thing? It's actually the first and second time, actually I ordered three, the first, second, and third time that I've ordered it all year. And they're actually pretty good, Tony's, Tony's Pizza. Tony's Pizza. I'm more a BBQ king, so. I may try Tony's Pizza, but uh, you know everyone's allowed to uh, like what they want. Derek? Yeah, that's true, I agree. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, how excited are you for a Chipotle burrito when you get home? We had this conversation yesterday and uh, I said 12. And how many days are you gonna eat in a row again? I said five. I called that I was gonna put on a, <laughs> a quick 10 pounds when I get home. The fans wanna know, what do you do on a game day? What does Tim Hartung do on a game day? Does he sleep? Does he go for little jogs? I've been known to see you around the prom, you're, lightly cruising. You're answering his questions again. <laughs> no, no, he, I'm asking him he actually did what just, he likes to do. He did just answer my question. I'll wake up, I'll go for a short, like, 10-minute jog, come back, probably eat a New York sandwich shop, so mm -hmm. take a nap and come to the rink. Um, do you enjoy watching movies, and what is your all-time favorite movie? I do enjoy movies a little more than most people do, and I'd say my favorite movie, it's probably a tie between Tommy Boy and Caddyshack. Do you enjoy movies by itself, or do you like, do you like to have a little snack, soda, feed up? I'm pretty sure everybody enjoys having snacks and Cokes while they're watching movies. <laughs> I was going to ask if you had any <laughs> friends come visit and what their name were. Uh, I did have a friend come visit. He was here for a couple days. His name's Jesse Haug, 
but we also we actually call him Silky back home because he's so silky on the ice. Hey, thanks for your time, Tim. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you, Tim. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck this weekend. Appreciate the support, guys. Cheers. Uh, so, guys, just interviewed your, your favorite player, Tim Hartung. What was it like? Were you a bit nervous meeting him for the first time? Yeah, you know, it was it was different. You know, he uh, he reacted like he's known us his whole life, but it was different. It was, it was funny. He had some good questions there, some good answers. So, went well. I was a little nervous. I mean, as a fan, you always want to, you know, you look up to those kind of guys. So, I, th I thought he handled it pretty well. But uh, I thought he was a little comfortable with us and laughed at us a little bit. Maybe feel a little weird about why he was laughing at us. So. I wasn't sure why exactly he laughed. So Tim Hartung, why is he your favorite player? Uh, he just plays with grit. Uh, you know, he's he's a smart player. Uh, he's got a lot of corner weight from those kebabs, and uh, he's just smart. And uh, well, I enjoy watching him play. I just like his athleticism out there, and I think he's a he's a good all around guy. Of uh, like Derek said, it's fun to watch. In all seriousness, uh, Tim, he's been a, he's been a very important player to, to the team this season. Yeah, absolutely. Um, he's brought a, he's brought a lot here all year. You know, they started off playing defense. They throw him back on defense when uh, when when we need him there, or when we're short or missing a D or something something rather than another. So he's been good. He's, he's a good centerman as well. He, he played centerman growing up. So yeah, you can use him all around, and and uh, he's always got a good attitude on the bench. He's a positive player. So. He's a good guy to have on your team. Yeah, uh, all seriousness um, aside, I mean, or all joking aside, um, Tim's a, uh, been a great uh, player for us. I mean, he, he's consistent every night. You know you're going to get out of him. So, um, like he said, he's been playing defense. You know, he's, he's a, he does what's asked of him no matter what. Uh, no matter what's asked, he doesn't, doesn't complain and uh, does it with a smile on his face. So, um, and as a player, he's a, he's a big part of our lineup. Obviously, uh, our number one centerman. So, um, i give it to him. Um, it's been uh, it's been a pleasure playing with him. He's chipped in with quite a few important goals this season. He's he's also got an awesome um, penalty shot as well. Yeah, absolutely. He, uh, he had a couple of big goals last weekend. Uh, he's been rolling here his last few weeks, uh, getting a goal at least, uh, goal a night, and uh, penalty shots. He's a shootout savior. So he gets nervous sometimes. Uh, goalies think they know what he's going to do, but I think he's got a few tricks up his sleeve. So. For all you goalies watching, I wouldn't be too comfortable. He's got the old Charlie Conway triple deke. Mighty Ducks one, Mighty Ducks two, Mighty Ducks three. Obviously, a, move, a movie he's probably been watching lately. So, um, you know, he's got the triple deke down pat. Uh, obviously, if you watch Charlie Conway and compare him to Tim Hartung, you see the similarities on the breakaways. Same movements. Obviously, Tim's a little bit better of a skater, but uh, same charisma as well. Cool. And just finally, what was uh, <coughs> the expression on his face when when, he, when you guys walked in? Looked like he, he just saw a ghost, to be honest, or uh, his a couple of burritos being served from Chipotle. But yeah, I don't know. He's he, he looked quite shocked. I mean, he just kept telling me, "We got to get there. On t come on, we got to get there. We got to get to the rink. We got an interview. Like, don't be late. I don't be late for anything." And it's like, relax. I can't wait to watch this interview and so on. So it was quite the reaction. It was funny because he was uh, last night. Derek was texting me, and he's like. Uh, yeah, Tim's in the car right now. He's like, who the heck wants to interview me? I haven't gotten an interview all year, and all of a sudden, last year of the year, someone wants to interview me? Who wants to interview me? And it was quite funny. Switching it up, Switching yeah. Switching it up. Seeing us walk in. Uh, he's definitely going to come back for uh, come back for us for a little revenge some, somehow, some way. Nah, we'll see. I don't know if he's got that. Never know, though. We'll be ready. It's like at home alone. We'll be ready. <laughs> you know what the part I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. I'll be ready. Uh, good luck this weekend, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Thank you.